Rewind. Hello and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. I'm your host, Nick Russo, and this installment is for July 28th, 2014. Now we're going to go ahead and get started, of course, last Monday, which was July 21st, 2014. And the first thing that we're seeing here is new Mickey-themed popcorn available for sale at Wawa stores locally. Now it's not a new idea or concept for local businesses to team up with Walt Disney World or at least theme their products after Walt Disney Disney World, but this is a new example of that. Furthermore, on July 21st, here's a look at the single rider queue of Gringotts. As you can see, if you haven't been in there, it's very narrow and very long. Even the single rider's queue, yes, is very long still. Also on July 21st, unfortunately there has already been enough wear and tear to break the dial inside of the phone booth in London. Now there is a feature in there that I'm not going to spoil for you, but apparently enough people have already figured out that feature and gotten there to try it themselves, resulting in this wear and tear. Moving on to July 22nd, first off, this day was the 20th anniversary for the Tower of Terror, so we got some unique homages to the attraction thanks to BioReconstruct from all around the world. First off, we have this picture from BioReconstruct. It was taken in Disneyland in California from the top of the Matterhorn in 1993. Today, the Tower of Terror would be in the background behind Space Mountain. Also from BioReconstruct, he shared this photo taken from Walt Disney World here in Orlando from the Tower of Terror in 1996. This one, like I said, is from the Tower of Terror of the Swan and Dolphin Hotel. And finally, once again from BioReconstruct, he took us way across the sea to Tokyo Disney Sea, and we get their version of the Tower, Tower of Terror from 2008 covered in snow in this picture. From Universal, Ovo Patrick shared this photo from Gringotts. Uh, it was posted at a 90-minute wait, which was actually one of the lowest wait times we've seen it at yet. Uh, with peak season coming down and summer on its way out, I guess we're going to see Gringotts' wait significantly drop on a day-to-day -day basis. On Thursday, July 24th, we learned that there are now ambassadors around downtown Disney to provide guests with information regarding the Lanuba show. That's solely their job out there to provide information for just that show. Also on the 24th, a little out of the loop, we heard about a brand new launched wing coaster by B&M. It was coming to, well it is coming to Holiday World, and it's called the Thunderbird. Moving on to Friday, July 25th, we got a look here from a Vine at new Frozen-themed iPhone cases. These are available for purchase at DTEC of Downtown Disney in the co-op marketplace and elsewhere. On Saturday, July 26th, this day was the mascot games at the Amway Arena here in Orlando. And here is one of the most popular mascots in Orlando, Nitro from UCF stealing the ball away during one of the event's festivities. Also on the 26th, this is a video, also a vine, of the making of a wizarding video at Shutter Buttons inside Diagon Alley. This is what it looks like. You can see the full report from Shutter Buttons on last week's episode of the show here on this channel. And the last day of the week, of course, was July 27th. Aaron's Pod shared this look inside one of Disney's newer accordion buses and pointed out both its cleanliness and its massive size, if you haven't been in one. And finally, on July 27th, thanks to BioReconstruct once again, he provided us an update on the Magic Kingdom's hub construction as concrete began settling in and more progress was made there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this installment of the Weekly Rewind for July 28th, 2014. I'm Nick Russo, and as always, thanks for stopping by. Until next week, guys, have fun. Bye.